Damn right, blue this in the snipe to the fullest. I'm here on the team, the family gathered in the do list. Got the slow jams playing, feeling the romance. Tommy on the mic, taking our love to a high stance. Mike Miller sees the man, nothing can bring him down. Playing the television in the go with his family all around. From the living room to the phone, connected to the TV. Living life to the fullest with love, and I'm in car as the key. I'm like Mike Mullis, living life to the fullest. Ooh, 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 I'm just like badass. Mike Mullis, living my life to the fullest. Ooh, 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 ooh. All these bitches know my name. All these bitches, they play video games. I'm the original next level gaming. I got the six packs, and all these bitches know I'm playing. I'm like badass motherfucker. Mike Mullis, living life to the fullest. I love you, Tommy. I love you, Tommy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got a big ass shelf collection. I got 20 ounces of weed, so I carry protection. Lock on my side, just like Mike Mullis. Pulling copy stripes, just like Mike Mullis. The worst on my body, just like Mike Mullis. I got way too much pride, just like Mike Mullis. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm like Mike Mullis. I'm living my life to the fullest. Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, I've just been like thinking about maybe doing a stream about Amico and stuff, and hoping to have my friend uh, jump and join in here. Hello. Oh, hey! I didn't see you come in there. Hey, how's it going? I'm living my life to the fullest. I'm living my life to the fullest. You just know. like Mike Mullis. You know. How's it going? good just, just having an indulging night as usual with my life to the fucking fullest <clears throat> just like mike mullis like mike mullis living my life to the fullest <laughs> you like that shit it's really good um yeah i'm taking it to another level man yeah you're killing it i don't give a fuck about the punk scene anymore i'm done with that shit man you're like multiracial no. Yeah, I got help. I, I I employed some dudes from Oakland to help me with that one. Oh, Chris Taliaferra? Chris Taliaferra was a consultant, but uh, I hired a guy named E. Reed. He was doing the lyrics on that. He's, he's, he's from East Oakland. Oh, is that the homie that knows Gizmo? He knows Gizmo Duck. Cool, cool. All right. His cousin was homie G Reed. Oh yeah. And dude, I love when the brothers you get down on the fucking YouTube. I like when the fucking brothers are on the fucking YouTube as well. <laughs> I'm living my life to the motherfucking fullest. Living my like life motherfucking fullest. Mueller. Like badass Mike Mueller. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. yeah. So um man, this is kind of like a lighthearted conversation. I mean yeah, I'm going to uh, plug myself because uh, everyone needs to subscribe to me. I know that uh, thousands of people are going to watch this who aren't subscribed to me. So go ahead and type my name in. Well, you. as long as as long as Ninja Kitty makes a video about me, there'll be thousands of people that see me. You need to seek me out because I'm going to be making uh, Mike Mueller's rap songs every day. Living my life to the fullest. For three years, as long as Mike Mules has been promoting the Amico, that's how many days I'm going to do it every day for 2,700 every day, every friggin' two days. Yeah, so what do you think about the whole Amico situation as it stands right now? Uh, did anything change? Well, Tommy's selling his house, we covered that. Um, oh, we got like a video of the house. Oh, yeah. the Willy Wonka room's hella small. Is it? About that. Is it really yeah. small? It's just like a regular 80 inch TV. Yeah, it's like a really weird small room that's just part of the other room. Ugh. It's hella weird. Yeah. Did you watch that video? Did you say that no, shit? No, I did, but it's kind of quick and it's kind of like kicking. It's like, dude, if you like, I remember uh, I posted, uh, I think I posted a video of Slotham reacting to Tommy Tellerico playing backgammon. And then one of the moderators, I forget who, um, they were Sensible like, person. "Huh, sensible person." Something, yeah, someone like that, yeah. Uh, 
they uh, were like, you know, don't like attack this person. <laughs> Like they're not atta- they're not attached to the Amico anymore is basically what I was receiving, <laughs> and then uh, all of a sudden it's okay because like he's in a documentary or whatever. So sounds like a bitter uptight person who's probably not living his life to the fullest. It's <laughs> oh, dude, you don't get it. Oh, you don't. You, you kind of get it. We all get it. We all get yeah. it. I feel like uh, that that person. Stop yeah. being like this. No, nobody fucking cares. It's the internet. What do you think he's gonna come to your house and stop selling you a Miko shit or something? Like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, sensible person and Tommy Poopy Pants on Twitter, <laughs> and probably like the direct line that H Bomber guy is gonna use. This is why I don't even. I just don't even like really talk with these. I just don't fuck with these people that much because I don't want to get into beefs. No, I'm not even trying to get into a beef, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone you deal with on Twitter, or not on Twitter or uh, Reddit or fucking Discord, uh, except me, who ironically likes you. Everyone else you deal with thinks you're fucking weird as hell <laughs> and like bans you and like you beef with them. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, it's like the opposite of what you do on YouTube. Like on YouTube, on you try to be everyone's friend. Here, you uh, you try to be everybody's friend and. You like you. You're like I'm building bridges and shit. Like with the anti, you're like, I'm building bridges with the Amico cult members and like I'm doing all this shit. But then like when you get on like Discord or you become like PM Fiera and you start like fighting these weird points, like oh, you stimulation. It's not okay. <laughs> well, maybe I do that on YouTube too. You just haven't seen it. What? I do that YouTube on YouTube. YouTube too. Uh, like hey, check this out. So. Do you have a problem with Raid Shadow Legends? Yeah. So the, damn. Why, don't, why don't you go comment on Carl Jobs' video? Because it's like, oh, I'm yeah. not associated not? with him. Why not? Because I'm publicly associated with you. With me? Yeah, yes, I'm on your show. So you didn't have a problem with, wait, you wouldn't comment on Carl Jobs because of me? If I was on like every episode of Carl Jobs or like ninety percent of his episodes, and then he did a Raid Shadow Legends thing, <laughs> I probably would leave a comment like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I would probably even go on the show and say to him, "What the fuck are you doing?" Just like I did to you. You understand what I'm saying? No, I don't. Uh, That's so the difference like, between you and Carl Jobs. No, no, no. I'm, I'm so, on your show almost. You all, you, you all of a sudden had a problem with this particular mobile video game that like no uh, malware see here's the thing carl jokes doesn't like send me messages on discord like uh like you know for three or four hours every uh weekend asking me to stream with him and if he did i might uh talk to him differently about what he advertises and doesn't advertise especially if he wasn't getting paid for it I haven't advertised anything. I'm just bringing up a point. Yeah, sweet. I know. I'm just. I know, but you were talking about Carl Jobs. I was just saying, especially if Carl Jobs wasn't getting paid for it. I wasn't talking uh, about you. Oh, hey, I didn't see you come in there, Leo. Welcome back to another video. He says, "No one, no one is watching you, losers. Go to sleep." That's fine. I mean, they're all they're all in Discord having like a chat thing, and I didn't tell them I was coming over here. How do you do? I didn't tell them why I was leaving. They probably think I'm just like hanging out with my kids or something. Um, and then Leo also says, "Sweet and Tender is obsessed with making AI pictures of Tommy Tyler." That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Did you see those? By the way, did you see those? Hmm. Did you see those pictures? No. Uh, no, I don't go on those chat rooms that you you go on. I refuse. Cool. I should have never given you the password to my AI account. My AI image creation software. Should have never given you the password. I know you just use those for album cover art. And you I heard you took those to Kinko's and got them printed out like super big. I got them to print it. I got yeah, I did. At Office Max. I'm ashamed to admit it. You you got a body pillow case made? No, that's yeah, I did. Speaking of which, Leo says he rubs off to them. Leo, you're welcome to jump on. 
Um, there's a couple. There's a couple people invited tonight. Um, Tom and Tellerico is one of them. <laughs> Make my picture bigger. I was trying to. Yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. I was trying to. For Leo, they're gonna bring people in. They want to see Toki on NES. <sighs> this is a popular game right now. So will Leo. There we go. All right. Mix them with a goat, like a like a curry, um, maybe like a nice goat curry, or a lamb curry. <laughs> so tell me, I mean, uh, Kuya, um, yeah, what did you eat for dinner tonight? I've been asking all the guests. Oh God, it was bad. It was just like French fries, and, like some leftover chicken, and. Well, I had a packet of, oh my God, I had two packets that I saved from Jack in the Box that's called Good Good Sauce. Yeah. Man, this shit's amazing. It's like a barbecue fucking ranch kind of. Oh. Yeah. It's yeah. Like thing kind of sauce, you know? Yeah. Not, yeah. So it's just like this sauce and a bunch of stupid, shitty air fried crap. Like the kids' leftovers and shit. It wasn't great. And like, yeah, leftover pieces of fruit. Like, uh, what's that shit called? Uh, honey, oh, uh, like honeydew, and yeah, like the fruit by the foot kind of stuff. <laughs> no, like real fruit. Like it's like a melon. It's like honey. It's like a green honeydew melon and fruit by the foots. We have those somewhere. I could eat them for after this. What's it's gonna get really world? fucking high. Nice yeah, I hate this gameplay too, but tell me Umiko insisted on it. <laughs> Good game. Whoa. Is this Toki? Yeah, this is Toki for NES. I had Toki on Genesis. It's kind of like the same thing. It's a, it's an arcade game. I have it on oh my screen, God. So. I used I used to be a shelf collector just like Pat the NES Oh, right you had, yeah, I forgot you didn't have it like as a kid. I, I had like you well, had no, this I, did, I did not. No, I didn't. And then no, after, you didn't have any after, after I was a kid. kid after yeah, it, you weren't allowed to have this shit, so yeah. then you got it later. I forgot. I grew, about up, it. I grew up. I had it like probably came out on C sixty four, right? I had like fourteen or fifteen different consoles. There's, there's, there's no C sixty four at all. At the time. No, there's no. definitely Toki on it. C sixty four, probably, uh, but maybe not. No, it's got to be. It's on a lot of things. I know. C sixty four is the most underrated thing. You could just get one of those computers and get the EverDrive thing for okay. it. How much does it cost? Uh, under a hundred bucks. Uh, I just don't have any money, and I'd rather save my money to get like a PlayStation Five. I could send you one, dude. Just send me your address. No, I, I literally have multiple C sixty four that I could send you. Um, what if I had you send it to an Amazon box? Sure. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, text me later, dude. Text me to my real phone number later, and we'll I don't want to have to spend money buying the games and shit. And no, it's, wanna... it's just it's just the EverDrive thing. Just... It comes loaded. It's a oh, it's the EverDrive a... thing. Oh. Yeah, it comes preloaded, and it's insane. Oh, I've been off and on. I've been spending the last like couple few months. I can't even uh, beat Toki. What am I going to do? I've been spending the last few months trying to get through the alphabet, and I'm only through, like, J or K, dude. Why don't you get Pat's C64 guidebook? Well, no one has written the clear and concise emulation guidebook to the Commodore. And and there are, there are issues. There are actual issues. Issues? Yeah. And I mean that has to do with like how my fucking Commodore sixty four is set up. I don't know, man. There's all sorts of shit you can do. Like, uh. so some of these games just like when they're running on the this, it's called a Kung Fu Flash, and it has like a bunch of fucking games. And it's really I sick. pulled out my Kung Fu. I didn't know she had the Jay Joe Kung Fu group. <laughs> she pulled out my group. <laughs> Such a sick band, dude. <laughs> Sickest um, band, dude. So fucking after three eleven. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this kung fu flash. <laughs> I'm not getting any of this shit. I don't. Fuck this. Fuck the world, man. 
I'm like Slipknot, yeah, dude. I'm just saying, dude. Do you have Fuck a CRT? Game. Fuck you video games, CRT? dude. You have a CRT? Oh uh, yeah, I'm looking at it, but this isn't plugged into it. Okay, well, this dude, is, I have a okay. Check it that's out. That's your I have, I, I have a I have an actual like computer monitor from the '80s. Oh, aren't you special? Yeah, I fucking am, dude. <laughs> you know what? Um. I have a baby and my mom's kitchen knife. So there. Huh. Whose stream is it though? It's tell me Q Yamiko. Uh Leo says, you want a good NES game or a known NES game? What? No nonsense game. No game. Come on, every cant has the same looking shit. Fuck this, your shit. Leo's always trying to be like sarcastic and don't Well, that's this is like Leo and Red Bull. Yeah. Red just, Bull's, Red oh, Bull's yeah, like, oh god. I guess this, Red Bull says, I guess the host, this helps the Burgers feel chill. Fuck this yeah. one. I do have Asperger's. Tell me who has real autism. It helps me. Red Bull, I have to call you out on this one, says Leo. This shitty NES game is the least crappy thing about this stream. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you guys want me to turn the sound on? Yeah. <laughs> and then he can turn our quiet. voices. And he could just be quiet. <clears throat> We could just like watch this for like ten minutes and see what the chat has to say after. We could play all the versions of it that I have because I have like the Switch version, there's like arcade version. Yeah, this is kind of like just a phone call between you and me, except it's shared with the whole internet. Yeah, we're not being gay. No, only one of us is. Yeah, like you know, like public. You. Yeah, all right, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just watched. Uh, so I watch a lot of uh, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. And uh, tonight. You donkey! Yeah, you fucking idiot. It's raw! It's raw! I watched You're one, donkey. and they're in LA, and it's like this gay couple. <laughs> and their son. Hey! Hey! And it's totally like. Oh man, Gordon was so cool about it, and because he <laughs> he must be kind of gay too, I think. <laughs> he he is like that gay hairstylist you can tell, that fake ass weird hair, like plastic hair. Yep. I ate at uh, one of his restaurants, kinda. Kinda. So like, I was at a casino, in uh, God, it must have been like Tahoe. Yeah. Like Tahoe? Must have been Lake Tahoe, I think. And possibly it was Reno. I think it was Lake Tahoe. And uh, they're like, oh, come to the fucking Gordon Ramsay restaurant. But they're like, you got down there and they're like, oh, you kind of like need reservations, except if you want to eat at the bar. And then there's like a limited bar menu. So then like we did that and like got macaroni and cheese. And it was pretty fucking good. Really? Yeah, it was like fancy macaroni and cheese, but it was it was really fucking tasty. I think there's like a little bit of raw egg in it, and like you know, just crazy shit, you know. Mac and cheese can be hit or miss, and it's one of my favorite foods. So you know the thing where they get the pasta really hot, and then they like put it in like egg yolk, so it cooks it just enough. I guess so. Yeah, Not actually cooking the egg yolk, crazy. Stupid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the heat of the noodles. Yeah, yeah. nonsense like that and stuff. Okay, well... Pieces of bacon and shit. Do you ever go to buffets? Long-ass time ago. It's too expensive now, man. It's like 50 fucking bucks now. Jesus Ooh. Christ. It's like yeah. 15. Don't you go to the casino, and then it's like 20 bucks. Jesus, but dude. It's it's a lot here. That's hell. Uh, but whenever I do, I check out the buffet. Uh, like, they're going to have mac and cheese, so, like, you try it, you know? Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah, food's good, man. Fucking <laughs> stoner. I had food. I had. I had a uh, pizza tonight. Did you have Amico clips for these people? The thousands of people that were watching this at all oh, after writing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You right. Uh, to do this. You on killed. To, onto the show. Um. Yeah. So I'm hoping that we get some guests tonight i might have to change the title of the stream 
<laughs> Let me say this game is way easier than like the other versions. Yeah. Have you played yeah. the other versions? Huh? Have you played the other versions? Yeah, I own the other versions. Several of them. Or have like ROMs and shit. <laughs> well, hey, before before I get to um the videos that I had planned to share, like I have a lot actually. Um <laughs> Leo says, saying sweet and Kuya are Asperger's is offensive to people who are with that condition. Um, not all Asperger's are deranged. Um, but do yeah. you know the do you know the um the history of Asperger's as like where it comes from? Yeah, this guy put his uh, ass on a burger and they were like, That dude's so fucking rude that we have to make up like a, a name for this thing because he's so deranged. No, he was uh he was a doctor in like Nazi Germany. And he was dealing with uh, people with Down syndrome and, or not Down syndrome, but autism. And it was like, he had this office where like they would determine, okay, these people are, you know, technically like okay enough to not send to the gas chambers. And that's what, that's what Asperger's was. That's fucking crazy, man. Isn't that crazy? Like you're useful for something. Like we can have you like work the computer or whatever. Right. Right, and that and that's why Thadi Adi was called a Nazi. Like this dude can fix our radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Asperger's, but yeah, remember when Thadi Adi was called a Nazi? Yeah, that's what it was about. I learned this recently, and like, and, uh... and, and, it, and it probably wasn't even fucking uh, apparent to him, and they probably didn't explain it when they were calling him a Nazi. Look, it was uh, just like your Asperger's growth. <laughs> just because things were developed under the Nazis, don't make the thing Nazi. Like nobody, people want to pick up pick them tart things, but they don't realize like, okay, jet engines. Do you like flying on airplanes commercially? Well, the Nazis invented jet engines, and then sure almost win the war. Red Bull says, yeah, I'm sure it's more self-induced retardism. Ease up on the scripts, Julia. Hey. <laughs> I like that. Leo says, yeah, Kuya, stop being so retarded, dude. What did I do? You said, oh, you, know, you were being retarded. Oh, oh, yeah. Red Bull says, oh, raw egg, perfect mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, perfect, like raw egg. And he's That's, like, okay. Yeah, no it's fucking raw. way. That's fucked, dude. It's raw. It's raw. It was like raw egg all over it. And then like there was like a, a Mexican guy in the back milking a cow. And like they just put it like right. It wasn't even pasteurized. They just put it like right on top. That's weird. We were washing their hands. And then there was yeah. like there was this British guy screaming at them. He had like fake hair. And he was like, it's fucking raw. That's <laughs> perfect. Send it out. <laughs> and then, yeah. So Red Bull says it's clear we're not getting any Amico news here. Red Bull, you and I haven't nothing happened. Talked, we we haven't talked vocally or face to face or anything, but I do know I do know that you actually appreciate the whole Amico story, and honestly, I think that's what we're all here for. So. <laughs> Leo says, you want any Amico news? Uh, I'm just in too good of a mood to keep him on track tonight. I'll explain everything to Red Bull. No, I'm just I'm not kidding. doing it. I'm not doing it on purpose to be a dick. I'm just like in a great mood and everything's and I'm like I'm a, yeah, I'm you, see, you seem look. in a you seem in a different mood. You like I'm you're living my life talk. to the fullest, okay? My my like I got mo listed. <laughs> not like that. No. Yeah, you're in a know. you're in a you're like chippy. You're in yeah, a chipper well, mood. I'm living my life to the fullest, so I'm not worried about keeping you on track like usual and things That's are just cool. going off the rails. And I'm, it's it's whatever. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not trying to throw you off on purpose. It's no, just, it's great. It's kind of like I'm able to do my own thing. And it's nice. I'm living anyway, my life to the fullest. Red Bull says, "Oh, so we got clickbaited too, you piece of shit. You're gonna change the stream name later. We got tricked." You got to do it in a New Zealand accent. He's from New Zealand. Oh, you like Flight of the Concords, Red Bull? Yeah, he probably likes that. He likes, he likes doing crank. 
Yeah, hey, hey, Red Bull, do you like the movie Eagle versus Shark? Eagle versus Shark? Uh, Red Bull has a bad allergy to asparagus of hers. Sweets, have you seen the Smith C64 homebrew cart? No, I haven't, but I've seen, I've seen like NES, um, NES Morrissey Mario kind of shit. <laughs> what? The yeah, hell? They, they do like the they do the Smiths and it's like eight bit version and then it's like played over like uh, a Mario with a Morrissey like as Mario sprite. Like my Ma- gay Mario Brothers, yeah, it's super it's pretty autistic. Super gay, dude. Super autistic, man. Motherfucking autistic. Look, it's just. What you try sucking dick? Here's the thing, man. I, 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 if I make a list of, of things that, that I like most in the world and things that I like least in the world, this, well, this is when I start to realize I'm autistic. It's like, oh, yeah. Uh, what do I like most in the world? Women's armpits. What do I dislike most in the world? Wind chimes. Oh, hey. Um, maybe something. Do you want to share like a secret message right now? Secret? I don't like secrets. Autistic people can't handle that kind of stuff. Well, it's not necessarily a secret. I mean, do you want to know a secret? Do da do. You remember like a year ago, we got like a weird mess. You got a weird message, really. Oh my god, you want to go over this? You want to? No, it was only mostly for me. You want to? Remember? <laughs> I don't care. It's only mostly for me. Okay. It's not private. No, it's not. But I, yeah, let's do it. So if you guys know this guy, like sensible person, he also goes by like Tommy Poopy Pants on the Reddit. You know, he's like the guy that runs the Reddit. Like this is this is the guy that runs the Reddit. That <laughs> doesn't mean anything. Reddit is that's not that's not that's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It's nobody. The only person that matters anymore is H Bomber guy. You know this, right? Yes, of course. But I don't even think we can hear this shit. I might have to like resave it. This message is mostly for Tommy Uyamiko. Hey, thanks for the kind words, Tommy O. He's got an AI sounding voice, doesn't he? Yeah. All, all he is AI. All, maybe this is another time because it's not loud enough, but just letting you know, uh, Nolster possibly. It, I think he might be a Nolster too, dude. No. No? I don't even know who Nolster is, man. Nobody does. He might be, though. Uh, Leo's going to sue me? What? Make the Yeah, because that logo was... They, they, they struck Tony for using that guy. Miserable. That sounds like a cool game. And I bet Morrissey was a total fucking bitch when he did. my game big again. I'm doing well. Oh, yeah. Oh, I died. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Okay, so that video is not going to happen right now, but I do have it saved. Um, you got some Atari creep? Hell fucking yeah, I do, dude. Nobody's going to watch this now. They are... Oh, I actually have a an entire fucking Atari creep saved and ready to go. All right, it's 540. I got to go. No, I'm just oh, kidding. really? No. <laughs> oh, dude, Lewis is backstage. Really? Oh, hey, Lewis. <laughs> Uh, remember this stream? Oh, God, it's like hours long. I do, too. I do, too. I really want one, too. JC's and something I can do to help it, hopefully. I'm going to try to skip hair. Hair's short. But, uh... It's old or new? This is new. I like his hair. What happened to his skull? It? The paid hater thing. I don't, I don't buy that. Right around the new year, you know... It, and that's mainly what I've been focusing on. Yeah, as I come up with things, such as I've, I've spoken my piece on them. Uh, one of the things Phil Adams had said oh, to me in that's our close. correspondence. That's before, close, eh? And it's definitely not about a clout thing because... I want to say, like, I fucking love Atari Creep. And I can't wait until he's he's going to be like, you know what? The Amico isn't what I thought it was. And that's okay. And, like, I wish him the best on it, honestly. I think he's already said that. I think he's already gotten to that point. I guess, dude. Yeah, he's like, I'm not happy with the online thing. 
I'm not happy with the cell phone thing. I think it should be a console. Like he said, he said his piece on it. Red Bull says, fuck your Reddit. Leo says, Pat Matters too, all right? Leo says, Pat's famous and he's awesome. Leo says, Pat has integrity and he fights evil. Evil can evil? Pat lives matter. Pat lives matter. That's a good one. That's what I always say. Yep. You know me. <laughs> That's a good one. You, Super J, hello, says, uh, good evening, gentlemen. Get fucked, Amico. Red Bull says, Rabbit is backstage sweet. Why did you ban him? I actually have just thought of a couple people that could be added to this. Leo says, Atari Creep is a good dude because he plays the guitar. Guitari Creep. Guitari Creep. Rabbit Dude, hello. A wild bunny has appeared. Hello. Not only does he play guitar, he fixes guitars and rebuilds them and shit. Ian! Ian! Says Kuna. Can you set up my guitar? Ian! My dad set up my computer. Can you make my action lower? Red Bull says, is Phil Adams not... It's... Yeah. Um, What? It's Phil Adam, not Adams. Yeah, no, it's like Adams family. Phil Adams. Phil Adams family? It's Phil's Adams. Leo says, wow, Rep, dude, I didn't know he, I didn't know he hung out with these creeps. Red Bull says, oh, the here? Oh, it's here. What's up? What's up? Rabbit dude? Rabbit dude's here. Rabbit dude, do you want to... You want to oh, come on? You want to come on? Rabbit. Hey, Rabbit dude, you want to come on? You want to come on? Do you want to come on? I don't oh, have a yeah. problem with you either, dude. Do you have a Discord? Because you should add me. You want to come on? Um... Or Discord or Twitter, Rabbit Dude, jump on, man. You wanna come on? It is all about the wrenches. For the wrench, Rabbit Dude, are you using me? You wanna come on? Do you want? Do you want to come on anyway, though? Even if you're using me. You Super J says that they do not like creep. He's a dickhead in sheep's clothing. <gasps> How dare wow. you! Dude, personal friend of mine. Dude, please. How dare you say that about a fellow guitar player? Robert Dude says that he does have Discord and Twitter. I'm not uh, sure if you know this or not, but this is a no drama zone. So Rabbit yeah. Dude in, but anyone else that's trying to pull his shenanigans. Yeah, Rabbit Dude, you have full permission to ban anyone that is even slightly negative about anyone else Anything, in the comment yeah. section or on the stream. If they say they don't like something, ban them. Ban immediately. Like I said, he didn't like a target creep. Banned. Even if they're like, oh, my day was kind of tough. That's negative. So you have to be them. a licensed comedian to be on here making negative statements like that. Red Bull says, just because I like Amika Lord doesn't need, I need to look at it. And yes, gameplay 20 hours a day. Don't associate everything with to paying us sh- for hours. Okay. The fuck? Uh, yeah, I was trying to... I think he's making fun of you. He's a tweaker, dude. Like, I'm not joking. Like, he's actually a tweaker. Do you know about this? Um, I had an inkling because of what you had said. Yeah. Uh, I said that. So you're only... Basis is me. That's not a lot to go on, but yeah, Red Bull. Tell me, because there's a lot of bad things about you to me. Oh, just him. Yeah, specifically. No, I just he, you think he's a tweaker. He, he said he's dead meth. And he's probably said some of the craziest shit about like some of the people in this community. Well, he's he's probably hanging out with a bunch of Maori fucking <laughs> Maori <laughs> smoking meth. Hey, uh, Red Bull, do you know about that fucking volcano that, like, shot a bunch of ash on the, the, the fucking... Did you smoke place? the ash? There's a crazy Netflix documentary where, like, a boatload of tourists were visiting a volcano that was, like, long dormant, and the volcano erupted that day, and it's super gnarly, dude. <laughs> it's the worst thing that we've ever done, huh? It's... Oh, it's, it's so great. Bad. I should never be in a good mood when we do, do this shit. You think it's going to work, huh? I don't know. 
I I like it because it's like I get <laughs> I get to talk more. Really? Do I talk more? Do I talk over you? <laughs> yeah, you're always mean and just like right. yeah, well, like our last one, you called me out. You said you said uh, oh, oh, you support Raid Shadow Legends. Well, <laughs> you do. <laughs> you didn't even get paid for it. Hey, dude. Uh, does anyone commenting on Carl Jobst's videos uh, get paid for it? Because they're helping the algorithm. They're helping him get that. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how that works. Isn't it? No, I mean, algorithm, fine. But it's not yeah. like, it's more like the people he tricks into getting Raid Shadow Legends to get the money that I'm worried about. What if he just used a random comment? And Dude, was, like if I was mad at Intellivision like, for getting algorithm money from AdSense, like I don't care. I got these comments from this comment section from this one you, person. You, did you ever leave comments on the official Intellivision Amico videos? Uh, no. Why would you? You never. What a poser. Well, well, well what was the point? Tommy Tallarico doesn't even know I about comment you. On Tommy Tallarico Tommy Tallarico didn't even know about you. you fucking latecomer loser. He knows about you. That's for they sure. played their records in the office. Retro Bro told me. And he was like, he's not a good musician. Retro Bro fucking told me, dude. I told you what? He told me that Tommy Tallarico listened to my music in the fucking office. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like, oh, he doesn't have any talent and all this shit. Yeah, yeah. Rapid says buy Red Bull. Oh shit, he got deleted, bro. Red Bull got banned. Oh shit. <laughs> Rapid dude's living life to the fullest, man. Living life to the fullest. Uh Leo says, I don't know about Rabbit's parents. Sorry about your dad, Rabbit dude. Selling meth isn't cool. And then Leo says, That's good that your dad's a meth dealer. I don't think he's a dealer, but maybe a user. He's just living life to the fullest. Living life to the fullest, just like Mike Mullis. <laughs> hey. I'm like Lewis in the life to the fullest. I'm a part of team, the family gathered in the do list. Got the slow jams playing, feeling the romance. Tommy on the mic, taking our love to our highest stance. Mike Mullis, he's the man. Nothing can bring him down. Playing the television and McCall with his family all around. From the living room to the phone, connected to the TV. Living life to the fullest with love and I'm McCall as the key. I'm like Mike Mullis, living life to the fullest. Ooh, ooh. I'm just like badass Mike Mullis in my life to the fullest ooh, 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 ooh. All these bitches know my name All these bitches they play video games I'm the original next level gaming I got the six packs and all these bitches know I'm playing I'm like badass motherfucker Mike Mullis living life to the fullest ooh, 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 ooh. I love you Tommy, I love you Tommy ooh, ooh, ooh. I got a big ass shelf collection. I got 20 ounces of weed, so I carry protection. Lock on my side, just like Mike Mullis. Pulling copy stripes, just like Mike Mullis. The worst on my bike, just like Mike Mullis. I got way too much pride, just like Mike Mullis. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm like Mike Mullis. I'm living my life to the fullest. Yeah, a geek with cash. Geeks. You guys like geeks with cash? Me personally? Geeks with ass. I like geeks with cash. I like girls with ass. And geeks with cash. Do you think he's mad at us? Uh, I don't think he takes it personally. I think he knows that we're just, I don't think we're his style of comedy and he doesn't like it, but he's just like aware of like, oh yeah, it's like the, those guys in high school that like Beavis and Butthead. It's like those assholes. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's like, fuck, those guys are right about me again. <laughs> he knows that we're like the fucking stoner fucking metalhead loser shit. Like... He knows that we know we're stupid, so he doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? 
Who's that fucking Christian friend that Beavis and Butthead have? <laughs> and he has like the Stewart. Stewart, yeah. <laughs> what, what shirt does he have? Winger. Winger. Yeah. Chip Winger. <laughs> That's fucked. It's pretty fucked, huh? That's him, though. That's who? Oh, <laughs> him. No, there's like some other people, too. <laughs> yeah. Several people he could be. <laughs> Uh, Kuna says Uyamiko's bleeps and bloops. Mike right. Mullis. Make my thing big. I'm playing Smash uh, TV. Smash TV, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, you Super J says... Oh, wait, hold on. Leo says Mike Mullis is friends with Tommy Tallarico, and you both envy them. He loves Tommy Tallarico. They're in Leo, Leo, I'm going to send you a link just in case. Just in case you're feeling like Mike Mullis. Never yeah, mind. Oh, God. Yeah, come on. Yeah. If he comes on, I'm out of here. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was going to leave anyway. Just kidding. I, I yeah. couldn't. I'm not. It's like, you know, sometimes, you know, I used to be like, oh, I got to get in character before we come on. So I'm not, I can't do it tonight. Like, yeah. And I was like, all right, I'll go on anyway. It's just like, yeah, I appreciate it, dude. I know it doesn't work when I, when I like, don't give a fuck. No, this is good. Oh, Leo's not going to join. Huh? Leo declined really disrespectful. Uh, he's making breakfast and shit. He just, he just messaged me behind he's the scenes. He's living his life to like, the fullest. Give him a fucking break. He's just living his life to the fucking fullest, man. He just messaged me behind the scenes, and he's like, I will never stream with Tommy Uyamiko because of reasons. He's gay. Super J says, Mike Mullis loves Tommy. His words, not mine. I've never seen Mullis yell at Tommy, but I have seen him. Leo says, Mike Mullis is the only gaming journalist with morals left in the industry. Super J says, yell at his kid. Mullis singing Uptown Funk should be a hate crime. All right, we're going to do the two controllers. Yo, stretch. Good stretch. Don't believe it just much. Don't believe it just much. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. Wait, Wait a, a minute. Go walk up. Put some liquor in it. Put some liquor in it. Ah, the book. Gotcha. Julio, get the stretch. Go to Harlem. Harlem. Hollywood. Jackson, Jackson Mississippi. Mississippi. Show up. Don't show up. what? Little than my dog Skippy. Little fresh gold Skippy. It's too hot. <laughs> like, what the God fuck? damn. Mike Mullis, what is the lyrics when they say smoother than a fresh gold skippy? I have no fucking idea. What, like, what the is. fuck was that? What the hell are they talking? Is that English? Mike Mullis, what, what are you saying? Mike Mullis, I'm holding you personally responsible for this. Yeah. This is like worse than Elvis. As far as like stealing from other. Wow. People. All musicians steal. Yeah, but nothing like this. I don't even, yeah, I don't even make the stuff anymore. Leo says he, quote, Mike Mullis, or parentheses, Mike Mullis, needs to teach his kid that saying Amico has lag is unacceptable. True. Otherwise, his kid might grow up to be haters. It's true. Yeah. It's like his kids might grow to be smoother than fresh jaw skippy. Fresh jaw skippy. So tell me, uh, I mean, Q, yeah, uh, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> That's why I had to stop. I just hate that. It's like Tommy is such an awful name. It's not my name. It isn't Tommy? It's people are just calling me that casually too much. It's like, all right, I can't fucking deal with this anymore. <laughs> like, like being like this, like, hey, Tommy, oh. I just wanted to send you this message. You'd be like, well, hey, what's up with you, Tommy? I'd be like, oh, I'm not fucking Tommy. Yeah, it's lame I'm as fuck. Kuya is way better. I'm glad you thought like, of that. At least I can, like, disassociate and to think I'm this fucking person named Tommy or some crazy shit. Like, then I'll lose my... I'm gonna be, like, in dementia one day thinking my name is fucking Tommy and shit. Right. Like, like 85 years old and fucking senile. Like, think my name is Tommy if I keep letting this shit go. I like the direction I've taken with the uh, mispronunciation 
and potential speech impediment route. Yours is really confusing to find now. That's great. I would like to be the most obscure. Yeah, but then your titles of your videos are like really on the nose. So, well, yeah, the thumbnails the are like really obvious. So it doesn't really matter. Like, huh? You're easy to find because if you just type a Miko, your shit's going to pop up. Well, duh. That's how you do it. You don't have to type in your name. Like, you just. You just... I mean, if you want to be successful on the Amico YouTube, you just include in television Amico in the title and you're set. Yeah, or if you want to harass people in the community. Yeah. So, you've been harassing anybody lately? Just Pat still? Just Pat, really? Um, uh, were you going to play videos like Darius or any of this stupid bullshit? No, I was waiting for Darius and Slotham to join. <laughs> Freaking, that's not going to happen, dude. They're asleep. I know. They're asleep. And they don't care. Nobody cares, man. Leo says, I won't get on a panel with a dude who belittles me. That's probably you. Oh, yeah. And then oh. Leo says, only desperate losers still use Amico for views. Well, you That's named yourself after the DS. Like, what are you, like, a fucking millennial girl? Kuna says, have you ever slept under the hunting, Huntington Beach Pier? Honey, no, but if, if you took it... Away, you, right, right. But Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Tyreco calls it Huntington Beach. Huntington. He always calls it Huntington Beach. Huntington. Because he oh, has, like, only spent one fucking... The real bums live in Santa Monica Pier. He, and, like, spent the night in the parking lot of this Huntington Beach Pier when it was still under construction. Yeah. Dude, the real bums live in Santa Monica Pier, man. Um, Leo, I had, D I had DT on the show once a while ago. Yeah, he's ruined it by showing him dick stuff over and over again. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I did. I did alienate him by showing a lot of Pat's bulge. Oh my god! He got really. Uh, he got really offended. And uncomfortable. Horrible shit. Man. Yeah. But whatever. Like. Uh -huh. It's not like I was grabbing at it or anything. It, you can't. It was a video. You crap at the screen. You might have been. We don't know. Probably were. I might have been. Um. Yeah, uh, Kuna, if you would like to jump on the stream, you can. If anyone wants to jump on the stream, Rabbitude, I... You want to come on? You want to come on? You want to come, come on? I'm just not going to put the link in the chat, I guess. Otherwise, we might get a dick pic from a certain someone. You maximize a picture, and then they won't, they won't show. You know what I'm saying? What? So if you just, like, full screen somebody, like, I'm full screened right now, so you don't see any avatar of yours. So yeah. then, like, they, they can't dick pic you because you're showing this. Do you understand oh, what I'm saying? Huh? I guess I see. Like the everyone that gets dick picked is just because they they want it and they're idiots. Okay, so if I put a link here, they can join and now. Yeah, the reason that it. happened when you were on Carl is Carl's a fucking idiot. Like, they can join, and if it's a dick pic, no one will see it because you have me full screened. Okay, hold on. Let's see this fucking bullshit. Idiot retard. Just would it full screen yourself or put a video up and full screen the video or even a picture. Just don't minimize it unless you know who's there. <clears throat> Hopefully we get Dausch and Boobin. Oh god. You wanna come on? You wanna do you have any videos to play? Now the stream is about to start. Did you have any videos to play? No. Come on? No. But yeah. here's the link if you... Why didn't you play the Atari Creek video. video? You didn't play the Atari Creek video, like, at all. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Damn, I it... fucking died. 
Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's this. Well, I can't see it now. Don't believe it, just watch. Hey, 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 stop. Oh, stop. Wait, Wait a minute. Hey, Rabbit. Hello. Hey, Rabbit. How's it going? Dude. Any I just doing news? stuff on the house. Any Amico news, Rabbit? Yeah, Rabbit, what's going on with the Amico, dude? <laughs> uh, The Amico sucks. There you go. Are you serious? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Are you serious? I, I, no, I think you're I right. And, and Pussy Miko, and Pussy Miko, and Pussy Miko's kind of dated. Who cares about it? Amico Home is all coming out now, though. They're they're about. Well, that to... is true. How's it? How is it? By the way, is it pretty good? They're released. I haven't no. really tried no. it. That much. No, it's, it's bad. Dude. It's bad. It sucks. Oh, that's not good. It doesn't connect to everybody's phone, right, or something. Yeah, Rabbit. Um, so oh, they did make it better, though. They made it work for Amazon Fire Sticks. And they might have wor- made it work for... So it, they launched it, and you could only use uh, Android for the home app. The controller. They, no, they made Apple work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, the controller. You you, ha- you have to use two, two phones, right? And one could be an Apple, and one could be a fucking... Android, but, but you can build your own Amico with an Amazon Fire Stick, and uh, I don't know. They're putting out. They put out cornhole, didn't they? Or it's coming out. Yeah, they just. I guess they just brought it out, right? It's fucking crazy. This it's is awesome. actually very interesting. Okay, now when you actually go on the comment section, you see the wrench by my name. That's interesting. Oh yeah, you know it's been there for a little bit. Maybe it was just was glitching or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's just showing up for somebody. That's kind of cool. I like that actually. That's a cool feature they added. Yeah, I, like I put it. I I gave you a wrench a long okay, time. Okay, okay, okay. Serious. Okay, what do you guys feel about? Mem- How do you guys feel about um, short streams? Shorter. What do you mean, like a? A short YouTube stream? basically a YouTube short becomes a stream. Like uh, oh. it just goes live for a couple minutes. No, it's like a little like an actual stream. It's like, it looks like a short, but it's not actually. It looks like a short. It looks like a short. You ever yeah, seen those before? Like, like, a lot. like a vertical? It's vertical? Yeah. You haven't seen those before? I've seen them a lot. And they're live? Yeah. Wow. Watch any streamer. You'll find that you'll find a lot. It's a new thing. Okay. Well, okay, Rabbit. I I will I will bring this. I keep opening opening the YouTube app on my phone. Someone's- oh, I got to go. Someone's calling me. All right. Bye. Nice to talk to you, man. Well, I will, I'll, I'll keep saying this. So, I keep opening my YouTube app, and then it opens up to Shorts, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like, why would I open up to Shorts? Because, man, they um, because, man, their biggest competition is TikTok. Oh, yeah. So they're trying to drive that that in, man, really hard. Because it it's like they already got you. Right, it's like they already got you doing YouTube, so mm-hmm. they gotta get you doing some other shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like how McDonald's tried to sell everybody coffee because they already got you there buying McDonald's, right? So now they're gonna sell you fucking McDonald's and Starbucks. You know McDonald's. what I'm saying? Yeah, McDonald's. I love McDonald's. Oh, oh, you can roll say. McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. He's eating a stomachache. The breakfast, everyone knows the breakfast is the best, which is why they sell it all day. Yeah. A few things. Then it's oh like the McGriddle. Oh. McGrizzle. Fuck me, Dad. <laughs> Excuse me? I, I mean, Daddy. They don't have the McGriddles right now, do they? Only in the AM. Oh, wow. Well, no, actually, it's all day now. Uh, You super. Wait, I missed Douch Ben Boobin. Rabbit dude, PSG are not good dudes. And then Super J says, building the Miko like ET built that phone. Um, build your own, your own Amico ET. I got another beer. Check this out, guys. Meow meow says, haha, short rabbit. Um, Daushin Boobin says, short breast streams are for spastics and. 
He's great. Ron Damon says, any diver news? I don't know, Ron Damon. Do you want to come on? <laughs> you want to come on? You want to come on? You any diver Ron Damon, do you want to come on? Ron Damon, do you want to come on? Well, I was going to say, we were talking about Amico for a second. We got away from it, but... uh. I know I'm trying. I'm trying to appease uh, Leo DS and get. No, no. Listen, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, evil. Hey, evil. Hey, listen. Hey, evil. Hey, listen. Hey, evil. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey. Talk to me, Mika. Listen. Talk to me. Hey, talk to me, Mika. Listen. Hey. Uh. Here's what I'm saying. Uh. Okay. What? I had. I know. I know. It's been a solid hour, but I do have like one, I do have like one solid original Amico thing to say. I okay. swear. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. I already made a video pointing this out, but I'll say it directly. Uh, John Alvarado uh, claimed he was apprehensive to release cornhole to the Amico home market because there are no available wrist straps and people <laughs> yeah. may be throwing their phones into their television sets and breaking them. Yeah. Like this nice uh, African American family we see here. Yeah. Well, they might be African American, they might be East Indian, they might be Jamaican. Well, dude, you know, we're all playing Amicos, we can call them black. We're all African. Yeah, we're all playing yeah. amigos. We can Real of the earth. It's all good. We can say black. Am I white? No. <laughs> e Reed told me it was okay. E Reed? He told me it was all good. He said it ain't real life dog. You no, can he say said black. It is real life dog. Oh, it is real life? Israel. Israel life? He said it is real life dog. Israel life, dog. And I'm like, what? He's like, peace in the Middle East. Amico saved my life, dog. <laughs> I'd be like, holy fuck, dude. I was like, yeah. So I was just walking through Oakland, right? And this guy recognized my voice. He's like, are you Tommy Lee Amico? I was like, actually, I go by Kuya now. But yeah, that's me. And he was like, hi, I'm E. Reed. I'm I'm like living like Mike Mulis, living my life to the fullest. I live my life to the fullest. My full life through the fullest. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, I just wanted to say that World War Three can be completely averted if we all just come together and laugh at Amico. I don't think we got to worry about it with how fast the AI is going. All right, think about this. Live and the AI. I was thinking about this today. You can already get it to like draw a full, accurate picture of some crazy shit and and like write a whole story about it. So I'm like, in two or three years, a movie that costs like. Five hundred million dollars for the whole movie will just cost like five dollars. Yeah, and you, can, and you won't have to license any of the characters, and you can just make it for yourself. And everyone can get naked and like stick things in their butt, and like you can make it as weird as you want. Wow, that got weird fast here. I'm you know saying you can just make it like as crazy as you fucking want, and you put Mike Mulis in it. Live and love, Mike Mulis. Uh, Super J says, I "Keep going, shorts of hot chicks, watch slides." Wesley Willis. Don't go to uh, TikTok, man. Kuya, would you get in the hot tub with Smash? Nope. I would. But not in a gay way. No, man. I'm such an awkward person. Ron Damon says, Pat over Brett. No. No. Absolutely not. Pat over Brett, yeah. That's cool, man. Man, fill my cup, put some liquor in it, take a sip, sign a check. Yo, Julio, get the stretch. Ride to Harlem, Hollywood, Jackson, Mississippi. If we show up, we're going to show out. Smoother than a fresh jaw skippy. And I, by the way, and I love to see the brothers on the fucking YouTube as well, talking about video games. The fuck? What the fuck was that? Too hot? Yeah, I know. Cat rejected. Oh, you got like, uh, I'm going to do like 10 more minutes and then I'm going to go rest really peacefully and have a great night's sleep. That's great, man. I'm, this might be a short stream. Who knows? This might be Maybe, a short uh, Did you record it vertically? 
maybe tell me Talarico or a couple other people will show up. I'm gonna take a vape. Yeah, yeah. Tommy and Darius are coming on. Uh, Leo says, I'll make a video of Sweet and Tender and Kuya getting high and humiliating themselves online. And we have 19 people watching, by the way. And half of those are fake uh, alt account trolls. And they're and now 20 people. See, they want, they want us to think that we have 20 people watching, but it's really just like five people. Is there 20 people watching? You should talk about Amico, please. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> there's this whole like scam Amico console that everyone's trying to brush under the rug because they like helped out with it and stuff. Yeah, including Smash JT and your friend Brett Weiss. Brett Weiss? Oh yeah, you never that. did. You know who never did? Who? At the NES Punk. Uh, actually, he and Ian said it looked okay. Ian. Hey, that was pretty good. Do you like? Big, big. Tell me, Emiko, do you like this guy? Uh, sweet and tender hooligan. Nope. <laughs> I like that name. I don't like Why that haven't guy. you covered Amiko that much? Uh... <laughs> I don't like that guy. That was the generation after me, and yeah. like we had a, like uh, those guys didn't like us because they're all like. Oh, I'm really talented. So basically what happened was like all the metalhead guys weren't getting laid. So they all tried to like convert themselves into, into like punk, but all their bands were like real mathy and like annoying and like way too many fucking notes. There's too many notes like Mozart. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like poppy. It was like, so all these fucking assholes, you know, they're just, they're fucking gay. It's like the 80s hair metal shit. You know? Yeah. Like the punk you. rock version of like 80s fucking hair metal, like winger and shit. And so, okay, so I already don't like that whole fucking scene, man. Yeah, I don't like the hardcore scene. I like real hardcore. Like, what's real hardcore? I don't know. Even like the fucking shit, like, like you, okay, like sick of it all, like New York. I guess like a poppier, more mainstream version or like Black Flag or whatever. Those are like more poppy bands, but like I like the underground versions of bands like that. Hold on, I just uh like real hardcore, man. Like I listen to some like thrash, man. Like, I listen to some crazy shit today. Let's see. You wanna hear a band you wanna look up a good band? Look up this band called Escapo. They're like Filipino like um, do you like integrity like huh integrity i don't know if they're they're probably not even hardcore it's just more metal i don't think i remember that band i don't think i've heard of that one i'm not into like serious music i like stupid I like, like corny ass i like slayer i like like the dickies and like Screeching Weasel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like stupid, exactly, dude. Those are like the records I have. You can take ease and fuck Screeching That's Weasel. That's because you're fucking gay, dude. Yeah, I'm a little gay. Yeah? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Amico news, um, Robert Tellerico has been kind of jumping around here. Backgammongalaxy.com is custom-made I mean, back for the Backgammon community. And he's, like, featured in this documentary and stuff. <laughs> Did you... I scanned through it a little bit, but are there any scenes where that chick with the bangs, like, puts her arms over her head or anything? She, like, fixes her hair or anything like that? Oh, like yeah, her... I don't yeah, care about the beer at all. <laughs> like, does she fix her hair? Or... This girl? Yeah, does she lift her arms up, like, above her head at any point? Yeah, I didn't see... Um, so with the whole armpit thing, do you like bust in the armpit? No, no, never. No, nah. that's not interesting. I don't want to ruin the, the thing. What do you I'm do? Trying to it? Conquer it. I'm just trying to appreciate it for what it is. What do you do to it? Like, just, put your palm, <laughs> just get up in there, put your palm in it. <laughs> just like what you do to, to people's ass men's assholes. <laughs> get your face up in there. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> you eat it out. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I just want to look. Super Juice says being the winner of Brett versus Smash Battle is like winning. Nobody's nobody. I, I, I don't think there is a Brett versus Smash. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Brett versus Smash. No, they're they're homies. I think um, it is like being in the Special Olympics, following the Amico. Yeah, everything we do is like the Special Olympics. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking to that fucking that corn singer looking motherfucker. Um, How do you play backgammon? I don't know, dude. Do you know? Nope. Uh, is it dice roll? Oh, it's dice rolls, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then there's like pieces when you like take the pieces, I think. Um, that commenter, Rad Rob, he said that a lot of backgammon users, they are allowed to use their own dice. Loaded dice. Loaded oh, dice. Loaded dice. Yeah. You think, you think Tommy Tellerica doesn't use loaded dice? Give me a <laughs> break. This is going to be the next rap song. Tommy Tellerico's loaded dice. Tommy Tellerico's loaded dice. Let's talk about Amico. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Who's talking about Amico? I hate my life. Yeah. Gonna take my life. <laughs> Gonna take my life. Gonna <laughs> jump out a window and take my life. <laughs> oh, look at that. Who's that? <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Well, that's never playing. Backgammon has its certain inner rhythm, mm -hmm. almost like a music mm -hmm. and a harmony. Yeah. I look at that's the board in a very oh, wow. kind of. Here we go. It's a best of sale. This is like episode four. There's others. Looks harmonical, you know, no big stacks or anything. Often it's a correct play as well. Backgammon has its certain inner rhythm, almost like a music and a harmony. I look at the board in a very kind of musical way. Music shapes and colors. <laughs> if I'm seeing something that's in danger of being hit, it's red. <laughs> the, the ones that are Beauty, safe or green, and then there's all these shades. Absolutely insane. That's autism, dude. I know he can't control this. He can't control this, and that's what Wait. I told my wife about the armpit thing. It's like I can't control it. Just, she's like, dude, okay, it's fine. That's what I try to tell the guys on the Reddit. It's like you guys are making fun of someone who has special needs. I know. It's kind of fucked up. Why? Because he can't control it, dude. Like, I know, but it's so funny. It's like... It's well, like, yeah, of course. Spongebob. Of course you know, laugh at, you got to laugh at things that are funny, whether they're... Like Patrick and Spongebob are retarded. But, okay. like, you know, Beavis and Butthead, right? Like, it's okay to laugh at dumb people and retarded okay. people. Let's send it to this, these... Speaking of retarded people, Dank couldn't show up? Yeah, where's Dank? I'm sending it to the secret special Discord. The one that only you and me are allowed in. Um, oh, the one where you make the nudes? Yeah, where I made all those AI nudes. Yeah. Oh my god, send those Discord messages again. You made my phone vibrate right in between my legs. <laughs> nice. Keep sending them, boy. It's four ninety nine per message. So you um, so you you like the the VR porn, right? Oh yeah. <clears throat> uh, tell us about the VR porn that you watch. Um. Oh hey, I didn't see you coming there. Hey Leo. Hey guys, what's up? Not much. How's it going? It's going all right. Who's this? This is Foofy. Oh hey Foofy. Hey. I saw a Leo picture, so I got confused. Okay. Leo, Leo Diaz. Okay, let me tell you about the VR porn really quick. Hey, guys. There's, the, li there's the live one, and then there's, like, video. There's both. Live oh, no. VR porn? Yeah, and the chicks are, like, in fucking, like, Czechoslovakia and shit like that. Mexico and shit. 
Jesus they're Christ. basically like they're basically like hooking because you can like pay to get into a private one. They never did. I just like observed like what the hell's going on in here. You watched another guy fuck a girl? Um, that's well, gay. well, <laughs> as Fishlet said in Carlos. Wait, wait, wait! You were a cuck. You're being cucked, yeah. If you watch another man fuck a woman, that's but his point of view is in the recorded videos. It's like the guy getting fucked is wearing a headset that has like cameras on it. Wait, he's getting fucked. Yeah, well, like a girl or he's fucking camera. someone. Well, either one. And well, you're either getting fucked or you're fucking. Well, sometimes someone. like a girl would be riding you. That's like called getting fucked, right? Like, I guess so. Foofy, have you ever gotten fucked? Yeah, I got fucked. Get Finnegan fucked. Finnegan fucked, yeah. It was a uh, tacked on multiplayer experience. <laughs> See? He's getting Finnegan fucked. I yeah. guess I mostly just like, I fuck. Look, I'm man. more of a fucked in the forest kind of guy, though. <laughs> Woods porn? Fucked in the forest. Fucking in the forest. Are you in the forest right now? No, I'm on the, uh, I am on the freeway. <laughs> You're going to Las Vegas? Yeah. No, but I, did, I, I am coming up back from the casino, though. Oh, shit, yeah. And my friend and I win. Yeah, dude, I love going to casinos. Being tender hooligans a loser. He never goes to them. No. Nope. Fucking uh, dork. I've actually never been to one. Because you're a fucking dork. Well, I'm, af I'm afraid that I'll get addicted. Getting addicted to shit is cool. If any if any youngsters in the audience want to know what the 90s was like, just go to a casino. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can still, you can still smoke indoors in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything about it, man. Everything about it, man. Carpeted floor over cement. Oh, my God. The cigarette vending machines. They still had those. Oh my god, yeah, it's crazy. The I love that shit. The buffets too. It's like the nineties. Yeah. Maybe that's why I love the casinos so much. It's like being in the nineties. It makes a lot of sense now that you say it. It's the yeah. overindulgence of everything. Yeah, man. Weird shit, huh? That's what it is. And yeah. there's a bunch of nineties music in there too. I wouldn't know. I'm I was born in two thousand five. <laughs> With a silver spoon in your mouth. Never had to gamble. Nope. Never wanted to. You've never watched sports, so you wouldn't know how to gamble on those either. Nope. Sports are fucked. I got bullied by other sports members. Sports <laughs> members? Did you have a small dick or why? No, I was the, I was the baton. I was the baton twirler in uh, the band. For Is that how you got into backgammer? High school band, yeah. <laughs> so you started playing that game with your dad, or <laughs> yeah, my dad wins. Look down. Was there, a, was there a was there an official backgammon game for old school television? I think there was. Because like they used to, that was part of like early computing. Maybe. Like backgammon games were made in early computing. Like, yeah, like chess, like chess. Yeah, just like chess. Like old people liked it, and they made, it, and they knew it was like mathematical, and they knew they could build it. So like they did. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. On the um, dude, I'm telling you, having a fucking Commodore 64, Foofy. Have you ever tried a Commodore 64? I don't know. I put a ZX Spectrum though. That's kind of interesting. That's cool. I've never tried that. Oh, well, those are fun. Really? Are you, an actual one? I've been. Yeah, I played in my conventions. Oh, okay. Yeah, same here. They uh, they use cassette tapes instead of cartridges. Yeah, yeah. Well, so do, so so can Commodore. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like they 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 use both. Floppy yeah, disk. Um, actually, I guess I guess all three really. Actually, you can use floppy you can disk that tapes to save data on the Nintendo Famicom. <laughs> oh, the Jap one. Yeah, like the disk system. Like you could make your own tracks for um, 
excite bike and things like that and you could save the data on a tape it was like the famicom data recorder it was a tape that's cool. whoa 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 the jap one man <laughs> no, really. I, I think you mean the, the nip one you meant to say the nip one <laughs> the nip one nip yeah Nipanese, bro Nipanese? <laughs> i don't know that that's what they call themselves is nippon yeah um, so like in the old 50s people used to say nips really yeah oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. nip the nips <laughs> yeah the, the, the other slur for japanese yeah no, no, yeah huh well i just want to say that the sweet and tender hooligan channel does not endorse racism or I know people, sweet I, I live in san francisco i know people that were in the internment camps so I take this very seriously, and I'm going to start cancel culture. Okay, so well, we're doing those people tomorrow. Well, hey, Fufi, no, no. What do you think about um, what's going on in the Middle East right now? I just want to add one thing uh, real quick. Yeah. Fufi, no, no. Openly racist prick. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, openly racist about that. Prick. Oh shit! I can't have you on here. Loser. No, that's a. I like that about about uh, Slotham. It's that he doesn't like racism. That's cool. Yeah, was, you, sounded, you sounded very Canadian. Like, are you, yeah. are you actually Canadian? Because you. I'm. I am actually Ninja Kitty. <laughs> well, been a uh, you don't. You don't enunciate enough to be Ninja Kitty. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird. I didn't see you come in there. Oh, yeah, I didn't see him there. No, he's called Columbus Police Body Camera. That's his real channel. Oh, that is really him? Columbus yeah. Police Body Camera? That's him. Mm, maybe uh, he's probably watching right now. Ninja, <laughs> Kitty, Ninja Kitty, if you want to come on, you can. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, all you fucking faggots can come on. Whoa, why didn't you faggots walk in there? Hey, uh, didn't see you fucking faggots walk in there. What the fuck, John Faggots in here? Are you just saying that you're not afraid of the drama with Me? the kitty? I don't even like the drama. Are you subscribed to Columbus Police Body Camera? Uh, I just. Too bad, uh, Dank isn't around, hey? Didn't, uh, didn't Ninja Kitty say you were disturbed or some shit like that? He's like, he's either mentally disturbed or... That's what Ninja, Ninja Kitty said, yeah. How about you? How about me? Yeah. Nin Ninja start to beef? Mentally disturbed or extremely lonely. And what do you think's wrong with Ninja Kitty? Well, <clears throat> let's just resonate on me for a second. You don't like his politics. I say, know I, say I was really lonely. Would you think you were faggot? Say, say I was really lonely, which I'm not. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why even get into it? It's going to be like an eight-hour stream, by the way. I'm going to leave in like 15 minutes and like... Say I was extremely uh, lonely and mentally disturbed, which I'm not. Yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah let's just say, for the sake of argument... It's none of his business. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> you, but are I, I mean, are you a credible source of information? Yeah, I mean, I uh, I've been sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, which, by the way, is a fun game. <laughs> so you think that gives me credibility? It gives me credibility. Yeah. <laughs> you put you in the same league as Carl Jobs. Yeah, it's you guys. You guys didn't give Carl Jobs this amount of flack. I think a lot of people did. I don't and think so. Gen X Gamer was all over it. Yeah, but Carl Jobs kept doing it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Tommy Tellerico stopped. He stopped doing all of his shenanigans. Tommy Tellerico drag queen freak out. Jan Ong says, sweet and tender, uh, would you like Mike Mullis' matzo balls? He has two. 
It's matzo ball. <laughs> I, I like matzo ball soup, actually. It's really good. All right, play my song one more time, and, and I'm, you're going to play me out. Okay. Don't believe it, just watch. No, oh, that's not the one. God, you stupid idiot. Uh, idiot. Uh, ow! Stop. Wait a minute. Pull my cup. Put some liquor in there. I might lose in the sight to the fullest. I'm your point of team. The family gathered in the duelist. Got the slow jams playing, feeling the romance. Tommy on the mic, taking our love to our highest stance. Mike Miller sees the man, nothing can bring him down. When the television and the go with his family all around. From the living room to the phone, connected to the TV. Living life to the fullest with love and I'm your car as the key. I'm like Mike Mullis, living life to the fullest. Ooh, ooh. I'm just like badass Mike Mullis in my life to the fullest ooh, 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 ooh. All these bitches know my name All these bitches they play video games I'm the original next level gaming I got the six packs and all these bitches know I'm playing I'm like badass motherfucker Mike Mullis living life to the fullest ooh, 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 ooh. I love you Tommy, I love you Tommy ooh, 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 ooh. I got a big ass shell collection I got 20 ounce of weed so I carry protection Lock on my side just like Mike Mullis Pulling copy stripes just like Mike Mullis The worst on my bike yeah. Just like Mike Mullis I got way too much pride Just like Mike Mullis ooh, 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 ooh. I'm like Mike Mullis I'm living my life to the fullest Alright, peace Peace in the Middle East all right, peace out, Foofy. Movies, bro. Have a good night, Foofy. All right, ceasefire. Yeah, you see ya. All right, peace. Ceasefire. See ya. Yeah. So, Foofy, what do you think? Man, I, I, I've never made a song like that, but it's cool how <laughs> it's interesting how you can, uh, you know, incorporate things into it, and then it flows it into the song. AI is crazy. I haven't used any of this stuff, so it's just I'm just displaying this. But it is crazy. It's a whole song. I wonder I wonder what it took. It's like use this lyric or like sing about Mike Mullis. You know? Yeah. What does the AI AI already know? Um, we were doing some AI stories, like, fucking months ago, probably six or eight months ago, which is, like, ancient history. Uh-huh. But, uh, you know, we were just, like, write a story about Mike Mullis and Tommy Tellerico trying to release the Amico, basically. And uh-huh. then it, and And then the story would come back, like... And then Mike Mullis and Tommy talked to Smash G- Smash JT and talked about releasing Finnegan Fox. And, and like they it knows so much, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It really is crazy. Well, that's, that's I think that's what I was trying to say is that I don't know how much it knows about Mike Mullis, but the, the things it was putting out there in the song were, you know, pretty spot on. So it's kind of like, did you did you put that in like prompts, or did it just pull that out I, of its AI ass and make it and it happen to just fit with who Mike Mullis is? It who Mike Mullis is as a person. The guy who made it just left, so we'll never know. Ooh, I never know. Yeah, no way to talk to him outside of the stream. Yeah, I've never. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't really want to talk with that guy outside of the stream anyway, but. No, oh, he's sketchy, dude. He's like a sketchy dude. Um, but Fufi no no, how have you been? Oh, I'm pretty good. Nice. Nice. What you been up to? Uh working. And uh playing Elden Ring. That's cool. I have not tried Elden Ring. But yeah, it's I, uh I did try the mouse game, um, uh, tail, um, 
I forget what it's called, but it's like a dark... A bard's dark tale? Gold. Yeah, probably. It's like with the mouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like the most Souls games I get, but I definitely rec recognize that uh, Elden Ring is a very in-depth and it's probably a sick fucking game. Like, yeah, yeah. Are you uh, are you succeeding in it? Yeah, it's a it's a. I like it because I can you know put it on and then do other stuff and then go back to it as I do other stuff. You know. Sure. Because there's like a lot of like ambient music that plays throughout the game compared to most well every other like Dark Souls and Bloodborne game. Um, the only time you heard music was when you're in a boss fight. But in this, it's got, you know, just like nice overworld music. Yeah, I have a. Uh, I was playing Fallout 3, and then I tried playing Oblivion, but I got a little tired of it really fast. Oh, yeah. I haven't. I have not been playing any video games myself. Would you consider yourself to be a gamer? Yeah, definitely. Um, um, but I only like a certain like style of game. You know what I would really like to be playing right now? W would I, you uh, w would you put gamer in all caps on your uh, list of things you are? No, but I would include it in my Tinder profile. Oh, okay. Like, you wouldn't put like father, husband, gamer. You wouldn't, cuck, you wouldn't do that. Cuck, gamer, seeking a third. Um, but I want to play Beam NG. You know that game? I don't think so. It's it's the one where it's like. What car will survive this test? And it's like a video game, like physics based. It does all the fucking car types. I don't huh. know. There's like there's like some fucking sick game for the computer where it's like you can do any fucking vehicle you want. Like everyone just makes a mod for the game. PC's mm -hmm. the way to go, dude. I just need a gaming computer. But it's just like you fuck with cars and like crash them. It's like it's like vehicle deformation physics. Every crash is different kind of shit. Okay. You know? I love that shit. I love I love I, I <clears throat> the one of the reasons I think I might have autism is that I'm obsessed with the physics of video games. Hmm. Like ragdoll physics. Does that make any sense? Do you ever play Half Life or uh, Half Life Two, rather? Would you? Would the creator of physics not be mad at the game? Yeah. No. He wouldn't. What? He wouldn't. He no, wouldn't he, hashtag he, update physics like, for that wow. game. He'd be like, "Wow, that's you. You guys did great. Mm -hmm. I, I love the reference you made. Thanks." We got a few comments here. We, oh, fuck. We got quite a few comments here. Jesus Christ. Um, let me just uh, take a second to... That's fine. Let me take a second to respect our audience. Leo says, Slotham doesn't like racism. He just likes sex sexism. Greeted. Greeted. He's too bad he's an incel and never touched it when he was his mom. Says Leo. Jenong says, um, Leo, Leo. What do you think happened to Televico Studios? It w has a lot of work in the 90s and 2000s, but in 2010, not many projects anymore. I, I need to propose a uh, correction there. Um, yeah. Although I agree that Slotham is an incel, um, he did say that he used to have girlfriends and stuff, which I believe, but probably hasn't had one in a long time. That's cool. I still haven't. And he's it. an insult because he th he thinks he's owed a an eighteen year old virgin. <laughs> I haven't had a girlfriend in a while myself, but I'm trying to find a new one. Okay. Um, 
Um, Janong says about Tellerico Studios. Leo replies, Tellerico Studios was always just a cheap source of mediocre sound for games. Now you can get one sound done even cheaper and better. So no one will hire them. Like AI, maybe? You also wonder, too, how much of that, too, is just that people didn't stop wanting to work with Tommy. Maybe they met him in person. And it's like, whoa, this guy's cool. He's my friend now. Or, whoa, this guy takes credit for other people's work. It'll only be a matter of time till someone on YouTube makes a four-hour video on them. Fuck, dude. Although I don't know what YouTube is because this is still the 90s. So, Foofy, what do you like better? The H-Bomber two-hour two video or the Slopes four-hour video? Um, I think the Slopes video could have done away with the whole skit. I forget what the skit even was. It involved him and his wife. Or it involved like, his wife helping him with something. The egg? Yeah, see, I don't even remember. But I think I remember watching the video and being like, wow, I don't need this. Yeah. And the whole, like, anime. It's almost like a Raid Shadow Legends situation. Okay. I guess. I mean, remember the, like, bra? He put on a bra. Uh, Slopes did? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's kind of like, I'm not, I'm not here for you. I'm here for Amico stuff. Oh, he, he, he put on, like, a... Like a like essentially like a tank top bra kind of thing. It was like a part of an anime game box set and he like put it on. Yeah. Um I don't know. I have to pee, so I'm gonna play this backgammon thing for a sec, or unless you wanna just like carry the show for a sec. No. Cause I I don't know how to use all the stream yard stuff. No, no, no. I did I didn't mean that. I just meant literally like with your voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you, want, do you want to try? Yeah, sure. I don't, I don't care. Okay. I'm cool. sure people won't leave. I'm gonna. Yeah, me neither. Please, if if anyone wants to leave right now, please leave right now. I'm gonna mute myself. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? Y'all think this Amico is a big scam, or you think it's really gonna come out? Y'all looking forward to those controllers that are? Gonna come out at Christmas time. Totally gonna come out at Christmas time. You know they got a roadmap that says it'll come out at Christmas time, so we should be getting those controllers. You know, by, by the end of the year. Um, if, what what uh what Dreamcast games would you want to see on the on the Amico? They could get like a Dreamcast pack, don't you think? That'd be pretty cool. Not not enough people play Dreamcast games these days. Would you, would your jaw hit the ground if you were playing Crazy Taxi on the Amico with the Amico controller? That'd be that'd be pretty cool. Um, yes, yes, I uh, I am aware that the Amico is capable of, of course, Dreamcast emulation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was crazy of DJC to say. <laughs> I just feel like everyone else on the stream was were playing like, what? You think no. we can do what? Dude, Tommy said no 3D worlds. Like, no crazy taxi. What are yeah. you talking about? I think, and, that, and that's what makes me think, like, maybe even back then, DJC was, like, just trying to fucking troll us because he knows it's fucked. Yeah. And speaking of fucked, um... I think that a stream with just you and Dank would be magical, honestly. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 100%, dude. Like, the whole thing with this Amico thing is is about passing the torch. We have to keep this conversation going. 
I'm not I'm always too. I'm not always gonna be here, you know. Yeah. The stars are uh, they're beautiful, aren't they? I don't look at much anymore. Someday you will see me in the stars, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. That was a reference to uh, to uh, Men in Black. Oh, I was thinking Lion King. Oh yeah, that makes sense too. Yeah. Like Mustafa, and then you come in the diaper. <laughs> Mustafa, yeah. But um, I will say, how can someone who is asexual be an incel you can you, there's you can be uh does does non celibacy is that mutually exclusive to having sex or is that just not having a a companion well uh I feel like asexual people might still have romantic relationships. Yeah, they can still have romantic companionships and stuff. But wouldn't celibacy specifically pertain to intercourse? I don't know. That's what that's the question I'm trying to ask. Well, I think part of being an incel requires an amount of um, animosity towards towards women or yeah i don't know if animosity is the right word but i'm trying to think of a specific word hatred resent resentment resentment yeah yeah like this guy on screen right here jesus christ were you saying that slotham's slotham is uh is asexual no prince of fallen oh prince of fallen yeah, I only know about Prince of Fallen because Darius would talk about him. Prince of Fallen. Prince of Fallen. Yeah. And then no, I thought, I he's thought, a pretty cool dude. I think, I think, I think he's a pretty cool dude. I don't know. About wouldn't you. um, wouldn't Level One Online defend Prince of Fallen, or did he not give a shit about Prince of Fallen? But. Um, I forget the whole story. Um, I know that. I think, I think he's accepted back into the Darius fold, but not even back into the D Darius fold because they used to be enemies. Um, and you know, yeah, the whole diaper thing is weird. But um, if he's paying for his old, his own diapers and his own rent, I mean, whatever. So, what is the whole theory about diapers being involved with uh, Snestastic? Oh, Snestastic actually does wear adult depends, but it's not like a fetish thing. It's okay. like um, he has incontinence. It's kind He's of, a... it's kind of a sad thing. I don't, I don't really want to talk about it or make fun of it. It's just like, right, not a, yeah. He makes, he has to, yeah. I the only thing, only thing that's worthy of pointing out for him is just that he looks old. Yeah. Did you know he's like 43? I thought he was a little bit younger, but I mean, it's been enough time now since I've heard about him in the, in, in the first place. He could be 43 by now. Well, well, I know in, uh, in like 2020 and 2021 around uh -huh. there, he, he said he was 40. Oh, okay. Which is crazy, dude. Yeah, either way. 40? He's got like the reverse Andy Millen-Lacus disease where he looks really old. Yeah, like Benjamin Button. Uh-huh. Like on reverse. On rewind. On uh, fast forward. Like, uh, no, rewind. Webster's, he's you got like the what? opposite what? Webster disease. Opposite of Webster. Hmm. Um, huh, sweet, uh, Janong says, sweet and tender hooligan, you're an absolute legend. I guess so. I don't know what you fucking faggots think that I'm a fucking gay. Um, Janong says, Leo, so Tommy has competitors who can do the same effects for cheaper, better for less. Revolutionized gaming music bleeps and bloops 
everyone's seen the bleeps and bloops, even me. Plus, I'm sure most game companies now just make their own, make their own sound effects. Anyways, they don't need to outsource like they used to. Rabbit Dude says he's not afraid of Sotham, but he does hate him. Hypocrite, coward. I mean, the only thing I would be afraid of is like getting doxxed or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to get doxxed either. Kia says, uh, living life to the fullest. This ain't real life, dog, but I'm living life to the fullest. Um, Slotham needs a manscape. This guy is hairy. And you could talk to at Pat the NES punk. Um, but that would be his own prerogative. Kuya says, seeking ABDL, adult baby diaper lover. Living life to the fullest, just like Mike Mullis. Hey, oh my god, there's so many fucking comments. Leo, Leo, you expect me to go through all these fucking comments, dude? Jesus Christ. I'm not, I can't. I'm going to have to just like read through a few of these as we talk. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to control your control your stream or whatever. But can you uh, change the picture from Mike Mullis's <laughs> Mike that fucking Between. smug Mullis face? Yeah. Get rid of it, please. All right, thanks. Good call. You... I'm gonna play this backgammon documentary that doesn't have anything nice. to do with what we're talking about. Actually, I could... they gave Tommy two chairs in this documentary. Also, maybe that. I think I, I think this might have been the play. Well, no, that was a cruise ship. I think that he was playing uh, on with the. Yeah, there was a backgammon cruise. Oh fuck! <laughs> that was it. That was it right there, huh? Have you seen uh, oh, the new Dune series? No, I saw the first movie like back in the. Like, uh, not even back in the day, but I've seen the first Dune. Yeah. The original. Right, right. Was it good, the new one? Yeah, I like I liked them both. They're uh, really loud, though. You know what I want to see is that movie Poor Things. Do you see a trailer? With, uh, with, uh there we go. Perfect. what's her name? Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> <Backgammon. laughs> You know, it's like the moves we ne- we the moves that we didn't want to play. Oh, uh, we the yeah. bad. We lost. We lost. Uh. <laughs> like when I ran a company to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm hiding on backgammon tournaments. That's totally fucked. I used my dad's death as an excuse to escape from that bullshit, but now I'm also hiding on backgammon tournaments. Yeah, dude, his his weird like look away and like nod a little bit, like while trying to collect himself. This like weird rehearsed kind of thing. Mm. It's a bad look. Look at his hair; it looks very much dyed. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know, man. But. I do know that the Amico still isn't over, and Tommy Tellerico, if you're out there listening, just like, I don't know, apologize. Just be like, hey, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Fucked up what? Everything's going smoothly. We just had, we're just, they're just making do with what they've you know had to overcome due to the pandemic and a chip shortage and I did haters. Forget. I forgot about the pandemic, which... You know, almost tanked the whole company. Plus, the things that they would have to apologize for are the things that they could get sued for. So they really can't. They really aren't able to apologize for anything because if they have, if they have to admit fault at something, that just unravels the. That's like the, you know, the, the undone sweater song from Weezer, but for you know the Miko company. I only know the song from Spongebob where it's like, every day is a nice day to wear a striped sweater. Oh, I don't know. 
You know, if you want to destroy my sweater, pull my thread as I walk away. As I walk away. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay, that's what they're saying. Lying on the floor, lying on the floor, the Amico's dumb. See what I did there? Mm. Tell me Uyamiku would understand this more. Yeah. He's more cultured than I am. Oh. Uh, he's also probably older than you are, too. Yeah, by like seven or eight years. And probably like 50 pounds. See, I'm young and spry. How tall are you? How much do you weigh? Um, I'm like six foot and... I don't know. I haven't weighed myself in a while, but let's just say I'm like between 200 and 210, which is okay. That's pretty. That's me too. And, and maybe a little more, but you know, I'm not gonna go check right now. No, that's all right. But maybe a little more, depending on how much amigo content I consume. Um, I, it fluctuates. I was I was actually up to 300, 340 pounds at the peak of the Amico. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I did a few, you know, charities, and you know, just really worked on myself, and did some, you know, game expo tours and game conventions. Were, were they on golfing tour tournaments? Were they golfing yeah, charities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad, you know, <laughs> my dad. <laughs> <laughs> my dad yeah i uh i said i said uh hey dad i just wanted to let you know i love you and you've always been an inspiration to me and he said shut the fuck up hey dad i just wanted to let you know that i ordered everything on the menu yeah man that's a fucked up story and it's almost like a, well, I don't know, man. He probably has more control than Tommy Tellerico does, right? Who, uh, Gerard or Gerard's dad? Gerard. I mean, look at this. Look at the guy on the screen. Do you think he has control over what he's doing right now? Um. Well, he's in a bunch of people. He's probably in a space where no one knows who he is. Yeah. He's wearing a white suit with like olive green. That's kind of a nice getup. I bet it's really nice. Yeah. Do you think, do you think he has white pants too? Or he maybe? looks like the NES colors for Luigi hmm. for their for their first Mario game. The green and white. Is that what he's going for? I don't think so, but that's what he ended up doing. Do you think he has white pants or is maybe green pants or something else? I don't think they're green. They could be white. They're either white to match that that uh that overshirt, or he's just wearing regular jeans. Mm. Mm. Blue mm. jeans. He's yes. probably wearing blue jeans and some New Balance shoes because he's you know old. He's a boomer. That's what boomers wear. Yep, a boomer and a coomer. Distressed uh, blue jeans. This, these jeans were a hundred and fifteen dollars, and they're already ripped. Ah, uh, jeez. I'm too drunk to fucking even read the chat here, but I do uh, appreciate. I appreciate all the chat. Do you see any comments that you want to highlight? Well, that's or the thing is that um, I go from the watching your stream on YouTube but then when I get the StreamYard link it opens up a StreamYard page on my web browser and so I've got StreamYard up with this says live in the time the picture of Tommy with his hands up and that, yeah. that weird that weird expression he's got yeah. and then it's got my my screen name Foofy No No but instead of what I have on on YouTube that I downloaded on my laptop to put on my, for my picture, mm -hmm. I just 
have access to my pictures on my phone, so that's why I'm Godzilla instead of the Rock oh, yeah. Born Alive character. Yeah, yeah. And so the uh, AOL or not AOL, the, the fucking the YouTube screen is still on the bottom of my phone, but it's not what I'm what I'm looking at while I'm talking to you. So I don't, I don't know if I open up if I open up the YouTube app all the way if it'll mute my mic on on StreamYard, but I see. So, so what I'm saying is no, I can't read. I can only read the the comments that you put up on the video screen. Okay, well I did I did find a nice comment here. Um, Leo says Brett needs to beg on YouTube for people to buy his books. Obviously, they don't sell much. I've been in the retro gaming community for over a decade, and outside of Miko, I've never heard of Brett. I can't say that I did either before Miko. But that being said, I might have seen maybe one of his earlier video game books at a scholastic book fair. I don't know how I've long seen uh, one of his omnibuses out at a, a, a bookstore up in Seattle once. Yeah? How much was it? I don't remember. Probably like 40 bucks or something. It was, uh, there's like a Chinatown and then there's like a, a Japanese market and there's like a bookstore in there. And on wow. the top floor they have like anime CDs and, uh, like you know, gamer gamer books, and that's where you found it. And that's where I found the omnibus. Yeah. Holy shit, Brett Weiss! If you're out there, that sounds awesome. Like kudos to Brett Weiss. All I'm saying is, dude, like Brett Weiss over Pat the NES Punk every day. Yeah. <laughs> Leo says, I don't want you to read shit, you stupid stoner. He's talking to the chat. Okay, good. Everyone in the chat is feeling content. Yeah, and then Jan the Ong says, Sweet sometimes ignores the chat comments when he gets too high. And Well, it's when I get too high and drunk. And it's not on purpose. And I do appreciate you guys. So I'm just going to scroll. I do appreciate you guys. So I'm just going to scroll across a bunch of the comments and not read them and then read the ones that I like. Um, still scrolling. Anyway, um, it has, it is actually getting kind of late for me. Um, so I was gonna end it fairly soon. Okay. Um, I will say, um, if, if I go the, if I click the chat button on the bottom of StreamYard and go to comments, I can see everything. Oh, okay. Like Leo was saying, well, I think Rabbit Dude is a guy lacking accomplishment so far. Uh, Red Bull, I think the peeps who blow smoke up his ass like yourself are just shit people in general. I'm trying to help the kid. I don't know. I don't know the context of any of that, so. I don't know. Oh, he's talking to someone named Yumu about that. I think. I don't know. Oh, there, there's me. Oh, Red Bull asks, Ouya, sweet. I guess you're Ouya now. Do you believe... And you sound kind of like Ouya. That's what I was going to say. Do I sound kind of like him through this? Kind of. Do you... Do you believe... You sound kind of gay like me and Ouya. Yeah, I'm... I'm not really gay, but I'm kind of femmy, yeah. That's cool, man. Um, Red Bull says, Oh, yeah, sweet. Do you believe Rabbit Dude does art? Yeah, I like Rabbit Dude's art. Actually, Rabbit Dude, if you feel like doing a, like a thumbnail that I could use, or even like a uh, avatar, I would love that. Whatever you feel, like some sort of a cat. You could do a Sylvester. You could do a Morrissey, a Tommy, or an Amico or something. Um, is is Rabbit Dude one of the guys that uh, Slotham like, rags on and stuff? 
Yeah, yeah, he is. And so he the did... one that t- points out how, despite Slotham calling people incels and stuff, he's kind of one himself. Because he, he doesn't have a girlfriend and all that, and he called him out on that. That might have been a rapper, dude. Um, um, Leo says, it... what did I say about rabbit dude that wasn't legit? Oh, oh, there's a conversation going on in the chat. Um, I feel like we should wrap it up here. It has been a couple hours. I do need some sleep. It's been a long week. Um, Okay. But I really appreciate you, Foofy No No. Um, As a newcomer to my special group uh, of incels where we talk about Amico. And, um, yeah, man, do you want to, you want to leave it on a positive note or a negative, negative note? Let's go, let's give it posy. Let's go a positive note. Posy boy. Okay. Um, tell me one thing about the Amico that you are thankful for and you feel like could potentially help you in life. Uh, after the Amico is long gone and forgotten, something you can look back on, reflect on, really, and and move forward on as human being. The uh, the real Amico is the friends you made along the way. Wow! Unless if you're a re- uh, retro bro, then you lost all your friends because you realized what a piece of shit the, the console was. I think there's always from for um people to although i i do think uh i think i heard that that retro bro and cyrus martin still get along so that's kind of cool yes dude they do uh did you know did you know that retro well i mean this i guess this is before before bro quit you yeah you must know before bro quit amigo like he got cyrus's fucking uh deposit back oh yeah yeah i'm cyrus was like asking for his refund and getting radio silence meanwhile retro bro was still in contact with in television like phil adam and shit and tommy and tommy at the time and like According to the audio that's available, like he was like, "Yeah, I like, I reached, I reached out to Tommy, and I was like, dude, like he, Cyrus still hasn't gotten his refund, dude." And apparently, Tommy was like, "Oh, I'll message Phil," and then Cyrus got his refund. But it really, uh-huh. it's like it, it took that much, dude. Like this guy, Cyrus, like went to fucking bat for you, Tommy. Yeah. Like well, I'm sure that stuff wasn't really in, in Tommy's control anyway. I don't all know this, Tom- uh, he, all this, uh, yes, yeah. refund stuff doesn't really, doesn't really. I don't think it has much to do with him. That's true. That's true. besides him saying that they would get refunded back like three or four years ago, but that was. Oh, that's true. I guess that, that does then. have. I guess that, in a sense, legally speaking, when you say. 100% completely refundable at any time. Yeah, I guess you're right. It is a little weird. Um, Sorry, I was getting all worked up. No, it's okay. <sighs> it's the best, though, dude. I love this whole story. Um, And I, I don't want it to end, but then again, like, as soon as it ends... Like the big documentary can get made. Like it's not just Slopes or H Bomber Guy. It's yeah on Netflix. It's Fire Festival. It's this face. This this clip is used. This smile of Tommy. Someone needs to make a montage video for Amika with the song "Don't Let It End" by Styx. How's that song go? Don't let it end, but uh, we had so much fun, fun. Don't let it end this way. I don't, I don't remember that song, but it, it, it's on the greatest hit CD. If I heard it, maybe. 
Okay, well, I feel like that's a positive note. And uh, all right, yeah, dude, it's fucking awesome to talk to you. I really Thanks. enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully next time I either won't be as cross faded, or and or because it's not only that, but it's also late for me. So yeah, can I have the last word? Yeah, please. Uh, and as, as soon as you're done, say something fucked up, and then I'll know you're done. Okay. Okay, so uh, keep on rocking in the free world, and do 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 loot do Doot-doot! Fuck all you.